So recently, I graduated college. I got a bachelor's degree, and that's pretty great. However, I am starting to realize that college didn't really teach me all that much, so I have compiled a small list of things that college actually taught me. So bottom line, first thing out of the way, um, what I realized in college is that I learned to memorize content more than I actually learned it. So I was able to get good grades, I had a really great GPA, I graduated summa cum laude, and I feel like if I were to like take all those tests and write all those papers again, I wouldn't do so great because studying was really hard for me to do. In high school, I didn't really study all that much and I would do fine. And then in college, I was like, okay, well, since I'm literally paying thousands of dollars per semester to stay here, I should probably at least try to put in the effort to do well. I would like cram all my notes and like I would, that's how I would study and I would do well. And then I'd look back on like old class and say, how the fuck did I learn all this? Turns out all I did was memorize and then there you go. So a lot of people think that college doesn't teach them that much because it's true. They teach you to memorize and they prioritize that over actually learning. What I learned is that professors don't really care about you. They don't want to get to know you. They just want to be there and get out, which is fair because that's all I wanted to do. I didn't really go to college to make friends or anything. I didn't live at my university. I just wanted to be there do what I had to do and get the hell out. So I don't really blame the professors for wanting to do the same, but also that's their career. They chose to do that and they're getting paid to do that. So my professors for the most part seemed very apathetic and did not give two shits about um, any of their students really. Unless the students were like athletes or like super connected with the school and like, like blatant favoritism like that. Attendance isn't as important as you think it is because likely you're still gonna do well if you do the work anyway. In my last year, I skipped a lot of classes because I just did not have the patience anymore and um, I still ended up doing well. I got a 4.0. So, I mean, as long as you do what you're supposed to, it really doesn't matter like how often you show up because at the end of the day you are the one paying and it's up to you if you want to show up maybe this next one is just strictly about my university and how they handled majors like mine but there are some majors that are favored and respected much more than others so for the example that I'm going to give, the university I went to heavily favor nursing, social work, and STEM majors as well as athletes. Every other major did not get the same amount of like funding, internships, job opportunities, a larger variety of courses, and not a lot of other people signed up for them, so connecting with other students was difficult. For me, I was an art major when I you know, my entire time there. During my freshman year, I knew at least like 10 other people who were art majors. By the time graduation came along, I was the only graduating art major. And not only that, they didn't tell me this until probably two months before I graduated. So that made a lot of sense knowing why was it so difficult for me to sign up for classes? All these things are unavailable for me. Why do I have to take substitute graphic design and communications classes? Oh, it's because they dissolved the entire art major and didn't tell me. So people didn't believe me when I said I was an art major because they were like, we don't offer art majors here. Well, you did in the fall of 2018 when I signed up for them. So thanks for letting me know. Again, not only was I the last graduating art major, I was the very last art major for that school. So if that tells you how they treat people in the creative field, and how easily we're forgotten about because all they want to do is make money. Um, I don't know what will. <laughs> kind of ties in with the last one. Athletes are so favored that it just absolutely hurts my brain. Like, I get, I get it. You're, you're into a sport because 
you like it and then you get a really really awesome scholarship to help like cover costs and you get to miss class all the time and do all these things and then they're like and then professors and look at you look, oh my god look how great you represent this university because you're an athlete so at that point it's just like really don't care you can absolutely fake it till you make it academically I didn't know shit about half the half the courses I took, so uh, I would, you know, Google things and try to like teach myself as well as struggle to understand things actually happening in class. So if I had to write a paper, I sounded very well educated, and if I had to present something in class, I sounded very well educated, even though I knew I did not know any fucking thing about what I was talking about. So absolutely fake it till you make it, and you can definitely pass by if you're procrastinating um so yeah you can really do anything in a time constraint there have been so many times where i have forgotten about assignments or papers and stuff and i've crammed it all in one night and it was like super well done and then i passed or whatever so when they say like this is something that will take weeks to work on absolutely not if you really wanted to you can get it done in all like one session and then never have to worry about it again but maybe that's just my, how my brain operates. It's different for everybody. Being yourself is so much easier than trying to be overly friendly and outgoing. So um, me naturally, I'm a very introverted, um, closed off kind of person. Like I said at the beginning, I didn't go to college to make friends. So I was very fine with having a resting bitch face and not communicating with anybody because I just wanted to be left alone. I saw everyone around me trying to like get into all these like high school type of cliques and like work their way to fit in or like try to prove themselves and I'm like this is stupid I'm just gonna like not change anything about myself and I will be fine and I was fine. So let's talk about academic advisors. They will either be very horrible and not give a shit and try to like do everything in their power to not like get you to where you need to be or like let you do what you want to do my i went through three academic advisors three of them and only my last one was helpful she was great she really tried to make things work for me and but she also neglected to tell me that i was the last art major how they dissolved the entire department so i don't know about that but my first one I was like signing up for my sophomore classes and then he was like oh well you need to take x y and z thing for your general ed and i like scrolled and we were like looking through all the courses online and i was like oh history of rock and roll music would be cool he's like no you can't take it he was just super rude about everything college was overall for me a waste of time and money and um especially what i plan on going into which is tattooing and continuing art stuff it's pretty much it was pretty much a useless um thing for me to do because there's only so many things i could do with the major i chose which some may say like well why'd you pick a useless major why would i pick a major that i wouldn't use why would i be forced to go to college and then those four years do something i hated doing i did not like college whatsoever but at least my major was something i was passionate about something i enjoy doing and something that gives me a little bit of leverage when i get into tattooing because you definitely do not need a college degree to be a tattoo artist however that supplemental experience that i have with that degree proves that i at least have some skill but that depends you know it's a very difficult thing to get into but um yeah i feel like i wasted my time but it's like well at least i have this little pretty piece of paper so um yeah but again your worth is not determined by a fancy little piece of paper. I really hope everyone watching this has a good college experience that you get to explore uh, creativity, that you get to kind of branch out and get to know people, especially if you're living there, make new friends, create awesome memories, like be safe. And I really hope that you're not disappointed or let down or that it isn't like an underwhelming kind of like bummed out experience that I had so um yeah 
do what you want. Don't go to college if you don't want to. I wish I had that option. If you guys did like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. I try to make new videos as often as I can. And as always, I hope you guys had a great time watching this video because I had a great time making it and I'll see you.